Hi English 10, this is Ms. Long here. Uh, this is the video for Unit 7, Session 3, the session that concludes our reading of A Raisin in the Sun. So in this session, you will finish up the play. There's three acts. This is the third session. And then next week, you'll be doing an essay. But let me very quickly walk you through what you're looking at for this week. So again, this is the third session. So you'll be reading that third act of A Raisin in the Sun. And you'll be responding to that in your reader's response journals, just like you did for Acts 1 and 2. You will then participate in a discussion board, kind of talking about the play, and then just making sure you've reviewed your knowledge of the play through an understanding of a plot graphic. So I have a recommended schedule for this week that includes all of these activities. You'll notice there is also an optional journal and an optional work ethic bonus. So bonus to you if you're looking to add points to your grade, if you're trying to get your grade up, these are good things to do and do well, um, but you don't have to. There's really just three basic assignments. And again, this is recognizing that with the uh, park test going on, there's not as much time available for everything, and you're doing enough reading as it is. So that's where we're going. So as you read through the play, remember that you can get that online. I've attached a PDF to it this time. There's two audio recordings, and you're going to be picking out the quotations that are salient to you. Uh, quotations that have some significance in the play, explaining why. You've been doing a great job with those. Again, remember, don't just summarize what's happening in the quote. Explain why it's important. It shows a change of character, or it, you can infer something about character, or it, you can generalize something to the time period. Lots of different ways you can make that quotation relevant. Then from there, you'll go on to a discussion prompt. And in this discussion, you're going to have three different choices. So there's three different prompts. You're going to choose one of the prompts and compose approximately 150 to 300 words on that. Get some quotations from the play, some support from the play. This is going to set you up next week to do your essay, and you'll be kind of rethinking that or thinking through that as you do your post. Either talk about the ending of the play. What is Hansberry, the author, really saying about things? She's thinking that these problems of sexism, racism, oppression are going to improve or not. Uh, you can also think about Walter at the end when he becomes a man. And a lot of this play really is dealing with manhood. Walter becoming a man. Walter as a man trying to support his family in a society that makes it hard for him. So in the end, when Mama says to Ruth that he finally come into his manhood today, kind of like a rainbow after the rain, figurative language. What does she mean by that? And why does he suddenly change? What's the a change attributed to? And then the third one is just imagine that you have the power in our society to create proposals that will deal with economic, racial, and gender inequality. Uh, even though we've come a long way from the 50s, we're still in that place. How would the characters and the events of this play inform those decisions? What kind of proposals would you create based on the characters you've met in this play? And then you'll go ahead and just go ahead and respond to other people the way you would normally would. Normal discussion board. And then the last activity for this session is to record everything you know about the play in a plot graphic. Now there is a um, PowerPoint presentation at the bottom. Plot structure PowerPoint. And it just goes through the different types of plot structures. Uh, going back to Aristotle. So review that first. And then you're going to take one of two different graphics. Either this plot pyramid here, or just a simple plot chart here. And you'll go through the events of the play, what was in the exposition, what's the rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. And in each of these, I'm looking for about three to five, probably five events for each of those stages. And so basically, you're retelling the play. The very last thing is an option, actually, and I probably should include this on the first page. It's an extra credit option. If you've looked at um, plays, Time to look at actually the actual performance of a play. If you looked at it and you've read it, now let's see it being performed. And there's two different versions that you can refer to. One made in 1961, right after this was actually performed on Broadway. Um, and then there was a recent version in 2008 that uses uh, Denzel Washington as Wa uh, Walter. So um, if you watch one of these two and then compose two to three paragraphs, kind of comparing and contrasting and analyzing some of the differences, which one is most effective in conveying the message, then that would be worth 20 points of extra credit. So again, if you're trying to get your grade up, good option to consider. So then that will wrap up this session. This will actually be due, you'll have two sessions to get this done. 
that wraps up this session. And then in the next session that we have, we will be moving on to, um, to uh, writing the theme essay about this. So you'll have a chance to say what it is that Hansberry is trying to say about our society. And that's about it. You guys have a great week and be in touch.